the 27th of May, 1985, a tour bus run by Riley's Luxury Coaches set off on a day trip from Thornaby on Tees to the Yorkshire Dales. The trip was organised by the former mayor, Dorothy White, and was supposed to be a fun, carefree day trip for the lady pensioners of Thornaby, in which they were supposed to stop at their final destination, Grassington, and have afternoon tea before heading home. The ladies had already visited Ripon and Knaresborough previously in the day, but disaster struck just short of their last destination. As the coach travelled on a steep downward slope between Patley Bridge and Hebden, the stand-in driver, Roger Marriott, missed a gear. Eyewitnesses reported the coach was going at a tremendous speed down the hill, and Roger tried to slow the coach down with the brakes, but to his horror, they rapidly overheated and failed. There was nothing Roger could have done to prevent the tragedy of what happened next. The coach failed to stop and sped up towards the bend at the bottom of the hill, where it crashed through a steel barrier and tore through a three foot high stone parapet of Dibbles Bridge and plunged into a cottage garden 17 feet below, landing on its fiberglass roof. On impact, the sides of the coach buckled and the roof crumpled. The impact of the fall crushed those on board, including the driver, and 33 out of the 46 people on board tragically died. Roger Marriott was still alive when people first arrived on the scene and told the horrified witnesses what had happened as he lay trapped. His claim was that the brakes had failed. He made this as his shirt and tie were loosened so that he could breathe easier. Rescues arrived quickly on the scene and worked for three hours to free the victims using cutting equipment, jacks and cranes. They managed to save 13 of the members who were rushed to Airedale Hospital. Unfortunately, nothing could be done to save Roger. Acting Sergeant John Middleton claimed, I could see that it was hopeless to help him or try to remove him. The police later praised local people for their help, which had included rerouting the traffic. An inquest was held in Skipton Town Hall in 1975, which recorded the verdict as an accident, and magistrates were told defects due to improper maintenance was to blame. The owner of the coach was later fined £75, equivalent to £650 today. The cause of the accident, however, did not go unnoticed. The Dibbles Bridge crash is responsible for legislation being passed that required improved braking systems in coaches. The incident has been described as Britain's worst motor disaster. A memorial service was held at St Paul's Church in Thornaby in 2015 to mark the 40th anniversary of the crash and a memorial plaque was unveiled listing the names of those who tragically lost their life.